Okay, so I got a question right here. The diagram shows the track of a charged particle in a magnetic field. The magnetic field is directed into the page. Which of the following particles could create this track, right? Okay, so let me write the main important point that I got right here, which is the magnetic field, which is B, magnetic field, which is basically B, right? It is into the page. It is like this, right? This is your B, right? And it is right going into the page, right? Into the page right here, right? Okay. So this is into the page. The page. Okay. So now we have the options given because we can only solve this by options, right? So a moon traveling from x to y okay so i can see that my x to y for i'm gonna go for option number a first right let's see x to y right so asking me to go to x to y means this kind of direction right he wants me to go moon is basically having a negative charge right remember that because it's a lapton right so normally leptons has negative charges right so basically it has a negative charge right due to which its energy should be decreasing but as we can see the option is x to y and x to y is basically having a radius increase in radius which means increase in energy right so we don't want that so our option a should must be incorrect right if it said y to x a moon traveling from y to x then i would have said okay a is correct because it have a negative charge so means its radius is decreasing so its energy is also decreasing but over here its energy we can see it's increasing that we don't want because if I have a negative charge so a is basically incorrect right so let's go for number b right so we can see a positron traveling from y to x right okay so we have been given a positron and we know that positron let me draw this diagram first okay so he says y to x so it's this time going right like this in direction right so we have positron positron uh, yes positron right so it has a charge of positive one right so a positive one charge means its radius should increase and its energy should increase right but we can see it's going from y to x and we can see that from y to x its radius is decreasing you can see it's going like because as we know it's into the field so your force basically always is in the center of the circle, right? In both of the scenario, if you want to know. We use the Fleming's left hand rule, right? So this is my left hand rule, right? So this is into the page. My force is going directed towards the center of the circle, right? So as you know, my current is going back and it's a positive. So your current and your velocity always go in the same direction if it's positive charge. If it's negative charge, the your current this is your current right your current and your velocity goes in the opposite direction right so i can see my current is going this way and it's positive so my velocity should also go this way which means it should increase rather than decreasing right because i have a positive charge you can confirm it from your framing's left hand rule as well right okay so this is incorrect right if it said x to y and which is x y is increasing which means x uh, rate is increasing and energy is increasing then i would have said okay b is correct but for now it is having a decrease in radius so it will have a decrease in energy so b is incorrect now we have option number c right so option number c says and pi n negative right a pi n negative traveling from x to y okay so let me draw it out as well over here as well so this is x and this is y and a, basically a pi n or minus power basically has a negative charge right okay so as we know pine is having a negative charge but it is uh, the direction that has been given to us is x to y right so it is basically the radius is increasing again but we don't want the radius increase we want the radius decreasing it should be going from y to x not x to y if it was going from y to x then i would have said okay c is correct because the radius is decreasing and the energy is decreasing but in this scenario it is not happening that way right you can confirm it from your Fleming's left hand rule as well, right? 
if you want to so this is also incorrect now we are left with option number d okay we know this is correct because this is the last option left in the question right but uh, i can also prove that why this is correct right so you have to draw the diagram right here okay now this is x and this is y now we have electron we know electron is basically negative one right okay a negative one charge i mean these are all charges right negative one charge now we see that it is going from y to x the option says it's going from y to x okay this is correct why because it's going from y to x and it's a negative charge means radius should decrease right it should radius should decrease and its energy should also decrease right so we can say yes our option d is basically correct so this is our final answer d is our final answer